right, so I am doing a little bit of a different video today. We are going to be checking out the new cars that were just available to unlock and seeing if they're worth it or not. This is the 2010 Ferrari 599XX and let's check out what the differences are. So in like, there's the 2012 one that is also available, but you can just buy that in the shop. So we got the engine here. It's the six liter V12. And it can go all wheel drive naturally as for it. So let's see stock engine all the way upgraded. And it puts out 1,093 horsepower and 70, 720 foot pounds of torque. So um, overall it's pretty decent. Let's see if we fully upgraded here. It's fully upgraded. It brings it all the way up PI rating of 925. And then we have the four liter V8, the 5.2 V10, which I don't think either of these are gonna be more, but let's check them out. And no, we're less horsepower. So any engine swap's gonna just lower the PI. So we're all the way down to 987 horsepower. Still a lot, but not as much as it used to be. Go over to the other Ferrari here and let's see what it would be if you were to buy the Ferrari. So here's the one that we have unlocked, you know, just the normal Ferrari. And then we got the 2012 Ferrari 599XX Evolution, which is the 2012 version. And uh, let's go all the way over to engines and do the same swaps. We got the same engine to begin with. Fully decked out. Let's see. You get a little bit more power with this one. You get 1,161 horsepower and 770 foot-pounds of torque. And 9.3 speed and 8.5 acceleration. So. And you do not get the ability to put on arrow on this one. Or take off arrow if you wanted it. So that's the only difference pretty much that you can add the ugly arrow to the other one. I personally think it's not really worth it in this one. I mean, you can get the better version by just purchasing and not wasting your time grinding out the series. So I would definitely just suggest for that one uh, not to get it, but we'll take it for a test drive and see how it goes. Also just looks worse to have the arrow on there. You know, you have to have that ugly wing that Forza decides is Gonna be the only race zero for every vehicle they ever make, or ever put in this game. Obviously, this isn't really tuned that well or anything. I haven't really changed anything on it. It's just a quick drive of it. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good car, but I just don't think it's worth putting all that time and effort into, you know, unlocking this car for what is essentially the worst version of the one you can buy on the marketplace. I mean, sure, you can get this one for free, but I mean, the time you and effort you put into it, you could easily just do some online races and get the money to buy the evolution version i mean overall it's it's the worst version of the car that you can get in the marketplace i would not suggest wasting your time we're going to be taking a look at the other event vehicle for the month of march it is going to be gotti zonda or just check and see so pretty much the same as last the other vehicles you know you always get the v8 twin turbo you got the 5.2 v10 Go all wheel drive, stock engine, go twin turbo. So let's just see if we upgrade this one all the way. What's it look like here? All right, so a final horsepower is 1,233 with 1,008 foot pounds of torque. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like this one's a little bit more worth getting, mostly because you don't really get that many Pagani's. Um, 
in this game. So like you have only one that you can actually purchase. The other ones you have to add them unlocked through the previous ones or you can unlock this one still for this next week. But we'll take it for a test drive and see how it goes. Easily top it out. Turbos, though. I mean, overall, it's a pretty good car. I mean, so I'd say this is the car. If you don't have a lot of time to like spend doing all the races and stuff. I would highly suggest getting the Pagani at least. Ferrari is not really worth it. You have the other version that's way better. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.